This video is about arthroscopic acroclavicular resection. We start with the patient in beach chair position and posterior viewing portal. We mark our portals A, B, C, D, and E. Then we make an anterior lateral portal on the uh, anterior lateral corner of the acromion. Then we start by subacromial decompression and going directly towards the AC joint. We remove and shave off all the bursa at the uh, inferior surface of the acromion until we reach the AC joint. Uh, we also remove the inferior capsule so we clearly see the inferior border of the acromion and the clavicle. Our objective with this step is to clearly visualize the anterior and posterior corner of the AC joint. Thus we have to remove uh, the entire bursa and shape of the entire inferior surface of the acromion and the uh, clavicle. Once uh, you clearly visualize the lower border of the acromion and clavicle, you know you've done this step uh, adequately. It is important to see the posterior corner very well. Once you've removed the bursa and the capsule, then we do an acromioplasty at this stage if needed. And most mostly we do need to do an acromioplasty because there may be spurs on the inferior surface of the acromion or clavicle, as this may be a case of AC arthritis. And many a times, if you do an acromioplasty, you see the inferior clavicle very well. Now you introduce the uh, burr from the anterior corner of the AC joint then you resect 3 to 4 millimeter from both sides clavicle and the acromion so then you start from near your burr and then you go distally so which means that you start anterior and then you proceed posteriorly uh, you remove adequate bone from both sides so that there is enough space between the uh, acromion and the clavicle now you have to perform a thorough uh, resection and remove bone which should be sufficient to create a good space between clavicle and acromion. It is very important to resect the posterior corner because if you don't do that uh, there may be a failure at hand. Now once you've uh, done the posterior corner and anterior corner and have adequate space uh, visualization the next step would be to go below the AC joint and look at the superior part of the AC joint and the superior AC capsule uh, we do retain the superior capsule of the AC joint however you have to visualize the superior part and resect the superior part of the AC joint again anterior and then go towards posterior again we do the same thing we dissect little bone from both sides to uh, achieve adequate space between the AC joint superiorly as well failure to resect the superior part of the AC joint may land you in a failure of the procedure as well now you should check all corners to see if your resection is complete or not most importantly the superior part of AC joint the posterior part and the anterior part and once you've checked everything you're confident that you've done a adequate resection of the AC joint mm -hmm.